What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool bracelet I designed. It is a bracelet and maybe similar to something you've already seen. Yes, I know it's tiny. I ran out of time. But I was kind of calling it right up, left down. You'll understand <clears throat> why it's called that once we start actually doing it but anyways <clears throat> you won't need a <clears throat> actual loom for this you'll need your two fingers like a homemade loom you have or an, or a finger loom and two colored bands and a c clip or an s clip whichever one so we're going to take our first color and put it on in a figure eight and then take the next color and just put it on regular okay so now we have three bands now we're gonna take the very bottom band and pull it up to the top Push the bands down so you have more room. And let's put another band on. See how my colors are opposite? Purple, green, purple. It's always going to be like that. Well, not always. This bracelet's a little different. So we're going to take this right side of this middle band, pull it down over that band just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take that band right here, pull it up to the top. See that? That's what it should look like after you've done that. So now, since this is purple, we're going to take and add a green band. Okay. So now see this side that's got one, two, three, four? I'm gonna take that very bottom band that's extra, pull it to the top. And since that, this right here is the side that had the extra band, we're gonna take the middle on that same side, pull it down, and then take that band right there and pull it up to the top and then see now the other side has an extra band so we're going to take and since this is green we're going to add a purple band and then that extra band we're going to take and pull it up to the top. And then on that same side, we're gonna take that middle band, pull it down over, and then the band that we pulled it over, we're gonna bring to the top, just like that. So whichever side you have an extra band on, that's the side you'll do it. So let's go ahead and just, get to doing it. Make sure we're pulling our bands down so we have more room. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you, and I'll check in in a minute. Okay, so let's check in <clears throat> real quick and see. So it will start to look a little bit wonky at first, 
Once we take it off and stretch it out and do some stuff, it will look better, trust me. And don't be like stretching it out and doing some stuff. I don't wanna do that, that's gonna be work and hard. It's not, it's really simple. <laughs> Just stay to the end and you'll find out. But anyways, so make sure you've got the, the side, your alternating sides, remember? So you've got the side with an extra band. So let's go ahead and add a new band on. And then the side with an extra band at the bottom, pull it to the top, take the middle band on one side, pull it down over the bottom band, and then take the band that was the bottom band and pull it up to the top. And if these two bands right here are starting to like twist up or one is in front of the other or whatever, leave it that way. Cause if you untwist it or do whatever, it'll mess up the design. I learned that the hard way. So you can use a hook to pull yours up. I find that a little unnecessary because whenever you have to put the hook down to add another band on, then you just have to keep picking it down and picking it up and picking it down and put in, picking it up and stuff. And I think it's kind of just a waste of time. You can use that if you prefer or if you like it better or if you want, that is totally fine. I just like to use my fingers better. Plus I have more control of what I'm pulling down and what I'm grabbing whenever I use my fingers. So I'll speed this up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, our bracelet is almost long enough. Um, I like this bracelet, it was really easy to design. It's a really simple, cool bracelet, it's easy to make. If you're a beginner and you mess it up, or even if you're not a beginner and you mess it up, that's totally fine. If you just get one band wrong and you mess it up and you can fix it, that's fine. Now, the loom. You can make this loom with just two pencils, an eraser, or something to space them, and some tape. I know some people have like a fancy little thing that you can, that is actually made for this. Um, but even if, but if you don't, this is just a way where you won't have to go and like buy it. Cause a lot of the, a lot of the times those others are expensive. So I just found that since I didn't have that, this was an easy way to just have my own. So. Before you take your bracelet off, you're always going to want to measure it to make it's the right, make sure it's the right length for your wrist. I just like to use my wrist to actually wrap it around and see. So I need just a little bit more. So we're just going to continue with that same <clears throat> pattern of just putting, looping up the extra band on that one side taking the middle band, putting it below the bottom band, and then the bottom band that was the bottom band, then you loop it up. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Make sure you go to my channel and check out the video on how to make this bracelet. It's really cool, I designed it myself. And I have other videos. I make videos on how to do stuff with looms, and I make videos on how to do stuff like this, like without a loom. <clears throat> so you should go check out those videos. The comments on my videos might be turned off. I don't know why. <clears throat> I tried to fix it, but I guess YouTube just wanted my comments off. So... Or they thought that, I don't know. But if the comments aren't off, that's amazing. If the comments aren't off, then let me know in the comments what else you think I should do. What other tutorials, whatever. If they are off, then that's 
I don't know how to fix it. I tried to fix it. It wouldn't really let me. And I think YouTube thinks that it's like a kid's channel. I put it on like not for kids because I made this for everybody, not kids, not just adults, whatever. But I think YouTube still has my comments turned off. So I apologize for that. But anyway. Okay, now we are almost done. Just like two more links and then we'll be done. I like to make sure that even if I think it'll still fit my wrist, I don't want it too tight because one, it leaves marks and cut off, cuts off your circulation. Two, it's if it's tight, then it's not, and then it's pulling the band, and the design doesn't look as good. So, okay, so now we're done, and once you're done, you're just gonna take that side with the extra band, pull it up to the top, then take the next band and pull it up to the top, and pull it up to the top. So there's only just one band left. So now we're gonna take the C-clip that we laid out earlier, or S-clip, and just slide it on one side, take it off. Slide it on the other side and take it off. Okay, so it might look a little wonky, especially in places at first. So I'm just gonna take and stretch it out like this, especially in the places that it's kind of like wonky and like tighter, and take it and stretch it out. Don't worry about snapping it because they can stretch pretty far without popping. So there might be spots where like it's a little tight like right there. Just take and pull it, loosen it up. And once you just go to all the places where it's kind of tight, just go and like stretch out the bracelet like this. And now it looks good. There you go. I hope you like I hope you liked the video. I liked making it. If like I said, if the comments are on then just go and let me know what you think I should do next or what I should do. Let me know, like the video, subscribe, and make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!